Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Green on My Tears coming to you on Green TV, also known as Katrina. So, I'm going to be doing a video. Um, this video is going to be about um, the flea market. So, last Saturday, I was a vendor at the flea market in Mill Valley, and it was nice. We, I, I had a booth inside. It was a really nice area. I met a lot of not, excuse me, a lot of awesome people, and I networked and got some information about different venues and different events that are soon to come. So, I'm going to show you what I bought. So, I think I spent no more than maybe $10 on everything that I, I invested in. So, um, first of all, there were, um, I got this pot because I have a, pea, I have a um, plum tree. And last year, this is my first year anniversary in my house. And um, the, I used the plums from last year to make plum preserves which tastes so good and so what my plan is this year is to make plum preserves for Christmas gifts for the holidays so I'm really excited about that so long story short excuse me I bought this pot which was for a dollar so hopefully I can work it out with this if not I will find something else you can't beat it for a dollar so this same person was selling this nine west purse for a dollar my daughter's like, you got that Nine West purse for a dollar? I'm like, yes, I did. So the only thing I have to do to this purse is um, I'm going to throw it in the washing machine. Yes, the washing machine. And what I'm going to do, because it has this spot right here, I'm just going to put, um, put just wash, dish, well, dishwasher, um, laundry detergent, and yeah, that's just it to just wash this back. Because that's how I um, disinfect my shower curtain, the clear plastic one. So what I do is I put bleach and um, laundry detergent and cook, wash it on um, hot water and it comes crystal clear and clean. And that's how you can also preserve your shower curtain if you make a good investment on it. So yeah, moving right along. So I also, this lady that was working, I was on the corner and the door was to the left of me and this vendor behind me, she was selling a whole lot of vintage items. So let me show you what I got. So I got this scarf, this scarf, which I'm gonna have to um, roll edge this cause it's all tacky looking. Cause I washed these. This vintage scarf, this vintage scarf, well, excuse me. This vintage hanky, this is a hanky, and this is a hanky. These two are scarves. Or it could be considered a hanky, whatever. But yeah, I pay. And this big one, which I'm pretty sure you can find in the stores for maybe maybe ten or fifteen dollars, depending on where you shop at. I got this one for a dollar. So all this probably cost me like a dollar or two dollars. So two dollars. So that's total like four dollars already thus far. Oh, also I got this piece of fabric from this lady. So that's five, like five dollars. So this. Is about a, this is a yard a piece of yard of fabric and a little piece like over maybe another yard of half uh, one fourth of half of a piece of fabric. But yeah, what I plan on doing with this fabric is making a making a, a little clutch bag or making the make it a line of some fabric, maybe making a line of a bag. So also what I got and I love vintage patterns. Oh my gosh, I love vintage. Patterns. I have yet to use any of my vintage patterns, but one of these I'm a couple of these I'm definitely going to use. So I got. I got seven patterns, and um, after the event, the uh, after the uh, flea market, I left immediately because I had to take my car home. So, pitch me love to drive to work. And the young lady that I went with, she told me the lady I bought the patterns for wanted to give me all of them, but she didn't even get them all for me. But that's okay, cause I got these. So I got this one from my church, cause I'm thinking about making my pastor this robe right here, and yeah, cause it's only for adults. So I got this one. And the rest are for me. This one, I like this dress. I like both versions of this dress. And mind you, this pattern cost 65 cents back in, let's see, when was these, this one made? Wow. I wish I could see the date. It had the date on it. Let's check up here. Is there a date on this? No. Let me check inside. Check the pattern itself because it just might have it on the pattern itself when this pattern was actually made. But I know it's a vintage pattern, especially if it costs 65 cents. Yeah. 
let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I don't know if someone can tell me when, how much, I mean, when these were probably manufactured, I would love to hear that information. But yeah, this one is a vintage pattern. As you can tell it because the price of it, it was, this is 65 cents for this, this buttery pattern. And this one was not 50 cents. And that's a buttery pattern. And I also got this buttery pattern, this apron, which is hecka cute. I like that. And oh, let me back up. So you can see the pattern pieces on the back. And they don't make them like that right now anymore. And you can see them right on the back. So that the pattern pieces for that one. And this apron with the pattern pieces, what they look like on the back. And then this, yeah, this one was 50 cent. And this pattern was 60 cent. This is simplicity. So this was a simplicity pattern. Let me see if it has the date it was manufactured on here. Nope, it doesn't have it. But this one also shows what the pattern pieces look like. I'm going to show you what, a, what one of the patterns look like now. Because they don't look like this anymore. And this is another simplicity pattern. And this pattern only costs 40 cents. And I like those tops. And this is what the pattern pieces look like. And I have another simplicity pattern. And this pattern cost a dollar. And this pattern was from 1972. So maybe the other ones are probably like from the 70s, 50s, maybe 60s. But this is a simplicity pattern. And it was made, um, it's a dollar. So this, I like this, this jacket. And this is what the pattern pieces look like. And last but not least, this is called So Lovely. I've never seen this pattern before. But um, this one only costs 75 cents. And this is so you can make a panty girdle. With the little suspenders here, the straps here. You put your thigh-high um, stockings on. And this is what the pattern pieces look like on the other side of this. So, yeah, that's what I bought. So, that was like a total of, what, $14? No, $12? So, let me show you the pattern, what patterns look like now. You know, just the envelope of it. I'm going to show you just one moment. Okay. So, like, this is a, a vintage Vogue pattern. But this is it's up to date. But this is what it looks like now. But see, you don't see that they show you the pattern piece, but it shows you the back and the front of the dress. So here's another dress. That's a Vogue one. This one, and see, I only buy these patterns, only buy Vogue's when they're on sale. Otherwise, when Vogue patterns are on sale at um, Joann's or Hancock's, they're um, $3.99. And sometimes the Butterick patterns, which you see the front, I mean the back, um, Butterick patterns are between $0.99 cents or $1.99 when they're on sale. I never buy patterns that are not on sale. And um, also, when I deal with a client, I always try to make sure they get the biggest bang for their buck by getting patterns on sale. So, yeah, I've got that one. And here's another kid's pattern. This one is, um, see, I just want to show you the front and back, that they don't make them like they used to. And some of the things that we, they, we get now, I wish they made like they did back in the day. So, yeah, I just want to show you what I got from the flea market, what I did when I was, as I was a vendor at the Mill Valley Community Center, and I look forward to doing more um, events there. So um, I pray that everybody has a blessed day. Know that God loves you. Be encouraged. And don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and send me some questions. And um, I do owe you guys a tutorial, so I got to get up on that. Just life happens when nothing else is going on. So um, that's all for now. Goodbye.